I'm honored to be here as a speaker and looking forward to having productive and interesting day with so many professional and creative people and topics. I would like to express my special thanks to my professor Ruben Gevorkian for telling me about this opportunity, for my team lead Lilith Hachikian for supporting me along the way and of course for, to EIF and ISTC team for organizing this valuable event. Event. Let's start. I am Diana Alaverzian and my journey in data science started two years ago when I graduated Yerevan State uh, University, the master's degree of, um, of economics and uh, management. Um, my interest and passion in uh, mathematics led me to apply for master's degree, data science for business and um, a very responsible decision for me at that time. Uh, let, uh, last year I joined SEF International team, a universal credit organization, working on Zepa digital financial platform. Um, and today I'm happy to share with you uh, the opportunities and application uh, of data science in such digital, digital platforms. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Zepa is a multifunctional digital, financial, and social platform which is built to provide um, uh, lending and other services uh, to individuals, families, and businesses. Let's dig deeper into the structure to understand the importance and uh, the importance of data science in such uh, digital platforms. The platform consists of uh, individual users, business partners, as well as Zepa admins. Uh, Zepa is a cashless uh, closed system where client can uh, uh, can apply for credit line and use it only in only in platform within partner stores. The businesses on the other side can receive and can see their received amounts and uh, promote their products and services in the app. All users users can contact each other and send messages to, um, to each other. Let's disclose the user side. Um, the platform provides us both qualitative and quantitative data, uh, such as personal information, um, uh, behavior statisti behavioral statistics, and credit history from Accra Credit Bureau, which is sensitive information for uh, lending uh, companies. Uh, Gather data is used to predict PD, probability of default, and, imp uh, and to improve scoring model in the long run. Like any problem in uh, data science, uh, this problem has its logical stages. Uh, in the first data mining, um, uh, from data mining, data processing, visualization, feature engineering, and prediction. Uh, uh, in the first part, data mining, we study our data about users, um, we refer and understand if our data is on client or uh, on a loan applica application level. Uh, then we keep the information we need, make some uh, corrections, uh, uh, see the feature, uh, see the types of features, and etc. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, in, the, uh, in data pre-processing, we uh, need uh, to look at the distribution of each column variable, normalize and perform a feature discretization or optimal binary for the next model because uh, it's, it's essential. For example, for logistic regression, it's preferable to have uh, the, um, uh, the variables uh, uh, that are categorical rather than, the, rather than continuous. Um, uh, and divisions are also guided by this logic. After deeply examining uh, the data, we selected the final model. Before uh, credit risk models, one of the most important activities uh, is to predict PD, which is likelihood function, uh, that the borrower will not repay the required obligation in the given time period. 
We split the data into uh, test and train parts. Uh, I use a carrot function in R, and um, uh, we gave 80% or 70% uh, of the data of the data to train uh, and uh, I use uh, several uh, models such as random forest, decision tree, gradient boosting, SVM, logistic regression, but uh, logistic regression provides us uh, the highest results of accuracy metrics. Finally, we run the model uh, on the test part to do forecasting. You can choose the path that suits you. Start with intercept only model, then continue log it with one or uh, continuous or categorical uh, explanatory variable, and then continue multinomial logistic regression. The model can show us uh, the strange or strong uh, correlations between x's and and why, uh, and the results of which we can apply to improve our um, scoring uh, models, uh, stop factors, and KPIs. For example, artificial weight of overdue, um, uh, overdue days, uh, continuous overdue days, in the final uh, score calculated. Let's move to the uh, uh, to the second part, Zepa Partners, where we analyzed 1,300 operated uh, businesses. The main focus here is uh, segmentation of partners and fraud detection. Uh, as in the previous case, we understand the structure of data, normalize, um, uh, see the general summary of each variable, uh, do uh, data, data mining, data cleaning, and etc. In the EDA stage, exploratory data and analysis, uh, we filtered the data by self branch codes and admins. Uh, we, uh, we developed the logic of red and yellow flags for uh, our partners. A machine learning seg segmentations such RFM, recency frequency monetary, and CLV, customer lifetime value, were used from the perspective of partners and customer behavior. It's a great tool. It's a great tool uh, for uh, segmenting the partners by using RFM. Uh, RFM uh, is a behavior-based approach grouping customers into segments. How recently, how often, and how much did they pay? R is for who have purchased recently, F is who have uh, purchased frequently, and M is who have a uh, high purchase amount. Steps for RFM are calculating the RFM values, add segment beam values to RFM uh, table using quartiles, and finally sort the customer uh, score in ascending order. In our case, we have 64, um, uh, 64 uh, segments uh, from 111 to 444. Um, Another way uh, to identify the most profitable customers, how the company can uh, offer the best product and how much the company needs to acquire best uh, clients is calculating CLV, customer lifetime value. Finally, I'm developing uh, a rating system for partners, which I also used in my master's degree thesis. Uh, we conducted a survey to calculate, uh, to calculate uh, NPS score, net promoter score. Uh, after analyzing the trial and calculating the score, this will be part of a rating system. Uh, uh, RFM segmentation is two, uh, 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 social reviews, grades, uh, uh, and red flags the presence of which will, uh, will include it as a penalty in rating system. Uh, what is MPS in two words? Uh, it measures customer perception based on one simple question. How likely is it that you would recommend product to a friend? And uh, to calculate the MPS, so we pick the percentage of promoters or those who gave um, the highest score to product and subtract the uh, percentage of detractors, those who gave the lowest uh, grade to product. Uh, <laughs> and um, in survey, we have a, a section for comments from users and partners, uh, and that is for text mining of Armenian language and further for the sentiment analysis um, 
analysis. At the end, summarizing all above analysis, uh, we are going to make prediction of transactions as uh, uh, daily or periodically, as time series, uh, or uh, based on the size of partners. And I will be very happy to hear your ideas, um, advice related to any topic, uh, any part of my topic, especially to the last one. And thank you for listening. I really appreciate your questions. Uh, thank you very much, Jen.